Well done, boy. Father, not a threat. You will not come for us again. You will not touch her. I don't need your protection. Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. <laughs> We can. Because I will never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you a whole, if seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop you. <laughs> I know. No, 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 my boy! My dear sweet boy! No. Freya. He chose this. I will rain down every agony, every violation imaginable upon you. I will parade. Your cold body, from every corner of every realm, and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell! That is my promise! He saved your life! He robbed me of everything! <laughs> everything! You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he?
Boy. Listen close. I'm from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with a god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. Boy, go ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got him. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why not I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ugh. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come.
We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody. is answered and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's happening! She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the World Serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder! But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. Why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. 
Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. Goodbye, Faye. I love you, Mom. The Giants. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that Mother was a giant. Which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. Makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. 
He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We missed it. I understand if you want to go home, but maybe helping people is part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimbo Winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. <laughs> 